Hi guys, in this video we're going to be using the R statistics package in order to analyze a data set called the USA malignant melanoma data. Okay, so this data, just to give a little background, is the mortality rates in the US for white males due to malignant melanoma between the years of 1950 and 1969 and the data comes from the HSU, H, HSAUR2 library. So you're going to have to install that. Now I've made another video that shows you how to install packages or libraries. So please refer to that and install this package. And once you've installed it, you either type library HSAUR2 with parentheses or you can also type require in the same way. So basically this loads the package and the data set that we're interested in this package is US melanoma. So the way you could do this is you could type in quotes and then the name comma the name of the package and this loads the data and so we can take a look, brief look at the data by using the head command and we see that the data has four variables namely the mortality, latitude, longitude and whether the uh, uh, state is contiguous to an ocean Okay, and it goes by states in alphabetical order so naturally we would imagine that there would be 50 uh, observations or states in this data set. The way we could check that is another cool function called str which not only tells us that but it also gives us the type of data each variable is. So here we have 49 observations of four variables and it tells us that mortality is an integer variable, latitude is a number, longitude is a number, and ocean is a factor with two levels, yes and no. And they're coded as two and one, no being two, yes being one. Okay, so actually maybe no being yes and, and <laughs> sorry, n no being two and it, no being one and yes being two. Excuse me. Okay, so let's get to the uh, actual analysis. We're going to do a little bit of visualization so we can actually observe uh, this stuff in charts and graphs, which is uh, always a useful thing to do when you're starting out with a brand new data set. So, in order to do this, first I'm going to get the range of melanoma mortality. We're really interested in the mortality. So let's the range is from 86 to 20 to 29. Now I want to make a series of plots and I want to make a range, an X range, which slightly goes past this range of 86 to 229. So I will define a new variable xr, x range, as the range of mortality times 0.9 and times 1.1. So 10% less and 10% more. And if we look at xr, we'll see that our actual x range we're going to use for our plots are 77.4 and 251.9. Now let's set up our plot area before we start making these plots. We can use the layout function which is quite cool because it splits up a plot or device, graphic device into any number of shapes and quadrants where you can plot a series of plots into. So we're going to use layout then the matrix command with two rows. This means that there will be a graphics device with two rows in it of equal size. 
Press hit enter and it engages the graphics device. It's active. Next thing we want to do is we want to do a little tweaking of the margins. So using this rather confusing command, we can alter the margins and I'll explain exactly what's going on here. This is So basically what's going on here, PAR is uh, going, helps us to make tweaks to our graphics device and MAR, if we just look at PAR MAR, we see that our margins are 4.018, 4.1, 4.1, 2.10. Okay, so this is the number of lines in the bottom lines of text that will fit in the bottom, left, top, and right margin. Okay, so by calling this command and multiplying the default, this is the default by this vector of 0.81111. I leave these three at their default and I multiply the bottom margin by 0.8. So I made it. I made the bottom margin for these plots that are going to come out 80% uh, of what they usually are, what what they are by default. Okay, so that everything can kind of fit in nicely. Next, now we're going to get to actual interesting stuff. We're going to do a box plot. We're going to do a box plot of again the mortality. So. And for our Y limb, we're going to use the XR range that we computed up here, we defined up here. And we're going to also call this uh, func this uh, option of a horizontal plot, which just flips the box plot on its side, so it makes uh, it a little bit more uh, uh, aesthetically pleasing for our layout. Okay, so you see the box plot instead of being vertical like this has been flipped over horizontally. Okay, and that's that's what horizontal true does. What uh, X label does, X label mortality does this, and this is just the data, and the Y limb. This is our Y axis, and that sounds funny, but because this horizontal is true, the X axis and the Y axis kind of flip too. Okay, so that's our first plot. Our second plot is going to be a histogram of the same data. Namely, the mortality. This time, the X limb is going to be XR. Our X label is going to be blank, and our title. We got to make sure we tell it to give us a blank title, or else it'll just print a default name. We don't want any axes, and finally, our Y label. We also want blank. And here we get a histogram, right? And we're kind of missing an axis here. And to get that axis, we can just type axis 1. And what this does is it adds the most recent axis used in the previous chart to this uh, plot, uh, to the most recent plot that we're on. Okay? So here we have a nice Two uh, you could say two-dimensional uh, plot, summary plot of the mortality rate of this U.S. melanoma data set. Okay, so I'm going to go on in a series of other videos to further dive into this data set and work out some more analysis, and at the same time build function, build your functionality and li your library of functions and formulas in R. 
So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and R tutorial videos. Till next time, have a great day.